What do you mean by a first order RC high pass filter? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term first order RC high pass filter? Well, let's find out. So, first, filter is basically an electronic device that passes some frequency components of an input signal and attenuates or cuts off the other frequency components. So basically, it is an electronic circuit that passes only one kind of a frequency component and it rejects all the other frequency components. So this is not passed, this is not passed. Only one kind of frequency component is passed by an electronic circuit. So such kind of a circuit is simply what you refer to as a filter circuit. So here, therefore, a high pass filter is simply but an electronic circuit that passes high frequency components. So here, a high pass filter passes high frequency components of a particular input signal. That is what a high pass filter does. So here, we are going to construct a high pass filter with the help of a resistor as well as a capacitor. So if we consider an ideal high pass filter, then if we take the voltage versus the frequency graph, if this is the frequency and if this is the voltage, then only after a particular cutoff frequency, then only will we get the output voltage like this, which is equal to the input voltage. So whatever signal we pass here, only when that signal passes or exceeds a particular minimum cutoff frequency, then only will we start getting the output over here. This is the case of an ideal high pass filter. So now, now let us construct a first order RC high pass filter. That is, let us construct a high pass filter using a resistor and a capacitor. So here, a high pass filter would look something like this. First, it would have a particular capacitor here and then it would have a particular resistor here like this. So here we give the input over here and we obtain the output across this particular resistor R. So if this is R and this is C, then this simply is what you refer to as a first order RC high pass filter. So now let us understand the working of this particular circuit. So here, here let us assume that the current that is passing through this particular circuit is I. If that is the case, then the current I is equal to, according to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I R. Therefore, I is equal to V by R. That is the input voltage V in divided by here these two are in series. So therefore, we get R plus Xc. Where Xc is nothing but the reactance or the resistive value of this particular capacitor. So here we know that Xc is equal to 1 by omega C. That is the value of Xc. That is the magnitude of this particular reactance Xc. So here, therefore, if I is equal to V in divided by R plus Xc, then the output voltage V out over here is nothing but V out is equal to I into this particular resistor R. But we know that this I is V in divided by R plus Xc. And this R is nothing but R. So therefore, we have V out is equal to R divided by R plus Xc multiplied by V in. Let us take this as our fundamental equation A. So now here we have two extreme cases. The first case is the case in which the value of this particular omega is zero. When value of omega is equal to zero, we know that when this becomes zero, one by zero becomes infinity. The value of this particular xc becomes infinity. So therefore, if this particular value of xc becomes infinity, then this becomes one by infinity is equal to zero. That means that the output voltage V out is equal to zero. And in the second case, when the value of omega is equal to infinity, that means that when the value of omega is equal to infinity, this becomes xc is equal to 1 divided by infinity, which is equal to 0. So if this is 0, then the output voltage V out is equal to 
r divided by r plus 0 into vn. But here if this becomes 0, then that means that this r and this r goes and therefore we have v out is equal to v in. That is, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage. That is, we get the output as whatever input signal that we give. So these are the two cases. So here what we observe is that at very low frequencies, the output is zero. But as the frequency increases, the output also increases. So previously, we saw the frequency response of an ideal high pass filter. But in the case of an actual high pass filter, if we draw the frequency response, it would look something like this. Here, if this is the cutoff frequency Fc, what we previously saw was that only after the cutoff frequency Fc, it starts passing a particular signal. So this was the case of an ideal high pass filter. But in reality, this is not what we get. In reality, it slowly, slowly, slowly increases like this. And here, at the cutoff frequency over here, the value of the output would become 1 by root 2 times this V in or 0 0.70 times this V in. That is at the cutoff frequency we get the output as 1 by root 2 times the V in. And then it gradually increases towards the input voltage V in. So here this increases at the rate of 20 decibels per decade. Stay with me. This simply is the frequency response of uh, actual high pass filter that is at zero frequency value we have zero voltage that is passed but as the value of frequency increases this also slowly increases and at the cutoff frequency we get an output which is equal to 1 by root 2 times the input voltage or 0 0.70 times the input voltage and then it slowly gradually increases to be approximately equal to whatever input we are giving inside. So now, now let us derive the value of this particular cutoff frequency. So from this particular equation number A, from equation number A, we know that V out is equal to R divided by R plus XC times V in. So taking this V in here, we would get V out by V in is equal to R divided by R plus XC. So here, if we take the modulus value of this, that is, if we take the magnitude of this, we would get V out by V in is nothing but R divided by root of R squared plus XC squared. But, 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 here we are finding the cutoff frequency, but we just saw that at the cutoff frequency, the output is equal to 1 by root 2 times the input. That is, at Fc, V out is equal to 1 by root 2 times V in. So therefore, V out by V in, V out by V in becomes 1 by root 2. So here, let us now substitute this 1 by root 2 over here. So here, 1 by root 2 is equal to r divided by root of r square plus xc square. Let us now square this. And now upon squaring this, we would get 1 by 2 is equal to r square divided by r square plus xc square. Now upon cross multiplication, we would get r square plus xc square is equal to 2r square, which implies that r square is equal to xc squared. But, 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 but we know that the value of xc is equal to 1 divided by omega c. So therefore this implies that r squared is equal to 1 divided by omega squared c squared. So therefore omega is equal to 1 divided by r c. But we know that the value of omega is nothing but 2 pi f where this particular f is the cutoff frequency fc. So we could write this as omega is equal to 2 pi fc. So here we have 2 pi fc is equal to 1 by rc. And therefore fc is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc. This is simply the value of the cutoff frequency of a particular first order rc high pass filter. As simple as that guys. And subsequently we have the phase as phase is equal to tan inverse 1 divided by omega rc.
this does is simply what is referred to as a first order RC high pass filter and this is simply how we construct a first order RC high pass filter along with the cutoff frequency of a first order RC high pass filter as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what I refer to as a first order RC high pass filter and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time I'll see you guys in the next video thank you